On a positive school note, school officials are working to upgrade the system's technology in all grades. Today, the Instructional Services and Accountability Committee met to discuss changes that will happen in the future in the Doherty County school system. Fox 31's Todd Bailey connects you to that story. School board member Daryl Elam says he's looking forward to laptops being given to students in the system. When we start in a, uh, uh, elementary school and then move to a middle school and then into a high school with this one-to-one -one technology, uh, it's not going to be a pilot program because, you know, a pilot program is where you test something and, okay, it fails or not. We've already done our pilot program. We know it works. A new pilot test called Parks will also be introduced, which school leaders say could benefit the school system. Twenty-four states have joined uh, the PARC consortium, and Georgia is one of the leaders of the 24 states. And as a matter of fact, is probably the largest consortium of states moving towards a national assessment. Technology will also play an important role in the assessment. The nature of the assessment will be based on technology because students will actually have to explain how they came up with an answer. It's no longer selecting A, B, C, or D. This meeting was also an opportunity for Doherty County School System board members to be able to get up to speed on the changes that will occur with the new waiver. We need to get down to the individual subgroups and see where they are and work on our, our progress from a, a subgroup level than treating everybody, you know, one size fits all. Todd Bailey, Fox 31 News.